Guys, before we get started with another video of some super sweet SEMA content, everybody loves SEMA content, right? I just want to let you know that this week we're doing five times entries for chance to win our R32 Nissan GTR that makes 500 horsepower. But not only that, we are putting these Milwaukee tools in random order. So click that link in the description after this video if you enjoyed it. Roll the intro. <laughs> What do you, what, what do you think is the one? What do we need? So, a little bit of a headache last night. Well, actually, no, no headache last night, headache today. So now, we're looking at this selection. Had a good time last night, and today we have a little bit of a headache, and I didn't do enough preventative things. It is like one o'clock in the afternoon, and we're getting ready to head to SEMA. So, here at SEMA, well, not at SEMA, Vegas. Vegas used to be cheap. Like, you used to be able to get like dollar breakfasts or like, you know, everything was kind of cheap. Now it's just insanely expensive. Uh, if you go down to Fremont Street, it's still a little bit cheaper. For a coffee and a little egg bite thing, it's 13 bucks. Dinner that we had last night, the, we had a private motion auto dinner uh, before we went out and we hung did. out with everybody. We did. We, <laughs> we went to Johnny Rockets and it was $22 for a cheeseburger and fries. $22, standard issue cheeseburger. But I mean, there's a reason, you know, you gotta pay for these things, these, uh, these hotels. It's, the reason they're nice is because they make some coin. So, SEMA show, we're a little late, but we're doing great. Great egg bites. It's crazy, like, look at this. During the day, nobody's here. Look at that egg bite. Eggs and bacon in a convenient, convenient little thing. Sir? Is that your camera? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good, good. <laughs> oh. Yeah, we're just filming a clip. Okay, yeah. it's, a, it's a little mean for our channel. <laughs> so Vegas just seems like it just never stops expanding. Like you look over there and it used to be like the Westgate and I don't think there was those and then there was maybe that, but now you look over there and there's like more hotels, there's more things. It's just crazy. Like Vegas is just, it's just crazy. If you guys have never been to Vegas. It's a city that never sleeps. You should, you should definitely come to Vegas. Uh, don't ride the monorail from MGM at like nine in the morning though, cause you'll wait in line for about two hours. Uh, you guys seen that yesterday? There's a really cool truck over here I want to see. Hope you guys are enjoying this video. Uh, it's probably going to be a long one. We decided to do one video instead of like five videos. So, you know, instead of getting five videos that get 20,000 views a piece, we'll get one video that gets 20,000 views on it and we'll just save everybody some time, right? <laughs> but uh, look at this truck. This thing is freaking sick. It is huge. It is so big. I'm about as big as the tire. How you doing? Uh, I can't believe how big that thing is. That's what she said. <laughs> Buddy, look at this diesel right here. That is sick. What do you think of it? I mean, that's pretty cool. It is, it is pretty cool. Hey, how, how you, you doing? Good yourself? Oh, not I too bad. I follow you on, uh, on YouTube and everything. Really? Yeah, awesome. Yeah. Where are you from? Uh, uh, Gatineau, Quebec. Canada. Oh, cool. Canada. Canada. Close to Ottawa. Cool. Yeah. Do you like it up there? Uh, gets cold and we don't have really much tracks. They're all yeah. closing it right now. Yeah. So it's it's kind of bad for motorsport in, in our uh, area. That's not good, sir. Sir? Cheat on him. Cheat on him. Someone didn't have enough father attention. What do you think that means? Huh. I don't know what it means. It must be a girl. I, Are you fucking well, fuck No, I, I don't know what it means. Like, it's I'm confused by it. Like, it's daddy. Like, I guess, but like, is that is that what, did she cheat on him? And then this is what she got? Yeah. Like, she cheated on him and then took all of his shit and then now she built this. You had a good divorce? Yeah, <laughs> maybe that's, I don't know what it is. This thing's fucking sick though. Buddy, the yes. 20s? I kind of felt like it was your truck. I was no, like, is that, is that <laughs> I, mean? no. I was like, I don't know, 
story. You tell me the story. No, I was. Well, we've seen it on Instagram, and we were like, I, I didn't pay attention, and then you look at it, and you're like, wow, that's that's kind of interesting. But look at these. Look at the front end of that. Like this. That's it. Like that's. Like it's got the lights, the thing, the grip. Like that's that's it. I think I need a twenty. I think I need a twenty. Because that's when they changed it. Was that? Yeah. I live my life one last minute car build at a time and I feel like I don't, like we walk around cars and stuff here at the show and, and Charles is like, that's a Porsche 997 point this with this body kit and this and like he's saying all this stuff and I'm just like, how do you even know that type of things? Like, cause like now it, it's taken me a while to like learn the R30, like the GTR stuff and I'm kind of finally picking up on that. But like, I have no clue what that is. Obviously. Well, this is a KTM. Uh, well. This I know it's a KTM because it says KTM oh, right there, oh, but oh. you you tell me about it then. If you know so, what it is, so KTM, what is it? I, I don't have a mic on right now. Well, talk loud. Oh, okay. Well, the KTM, talk loud. basically, they started out as like a super lightweight car company. I, or, uh, not a car company, a motorcycle company. So I have a KTM. Yeah. I have so I have out, one. So They started out as a motorcycle company, and then yeah. they started making cars, and there was a, I think it was the Expo is what it was called, mm. um, the KTM Expo. I learned about this through Forza. It, it was an open cockpit, uh, two door, or I guess it, I don't even know if it had two doors, but it was an open cockpit race car, and it was a purpose built race car. Yeah. Um, and I think this is their first iteration of like a closed cockpit, like race car. Closed cockpit. Um, race I don't car. know if it's a kit car. Maybe what we need to do is just pull out the Wikipedia page. No. And then we'll no. We'll look at we'll it. Just have me say it. We'll just. Charles is just over here saying some things, so we'll yeah. just we'll just have me say it. We'll just be the yeah. We'll just get said. So Charles just presented me with this information. That this is an R35 GT3 kit. Yeah. But I don't know what an R35 GT3 kit is. Well, it's like a it's like a you know racing kit. Like it's it's something yeah. that you know. So it's it's like one of those things. Like remember a couple years ago when TJ Hunt did that GT3 kit. Yeah. So GT3 is a series of racing and this is a style of body kit that they only put on those cars and they're like low production. Yeah. That makes sense. I'm just sitting out here watching airplanes. Take off and fly high. I mean, I really like the way that this kit sits. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not sure how I feel about the little brake duct there. I feel like that's kind of like, you know, kind of cheap looking. I, if you look deep into that brake duct, you might see some weird stuff going on in there. Now see, I think Trevor should do something like this to his R35, you know, or, massive rear end with the, what are those, five inch titanium exhaustives? Wow, a GDR. I like it. I kind of want to take a nap in that thing. Look at that. Dude, overlanding setups are where I it's mean, at. You know how much money we could have saved on a hotel? About $865 if we would have if stayed. We just, if, if we, we just, if we just got made an overlanding. If we would have, if we would have, you know, we could have saved $865 if we would have spent like four hundred thousand dollars on something like that yeah look at this bronco that thing looks like a freaking roller skate almost the whole tire is outside almost almost it's, i like this though. i like the accents you know it's there's really not the accents it's just i like the paint match all red things. yeah it is interesting that like when you come to sema though it's like this is the first time these tires have ever been on this thing same as this like obviously they probably parked it and that was it do you think like after the done with the show they have to like give the tires back they're like right Thanks for right. letting us use your tires. This does look like a little roller skate, doesn't it? It does. Golly. What do you guys think? Any level lift, freaking sick. Big old 30s, yep. Like, if I was gonna have one of these trucks, it would probably be like this, but it would be with the stock bumper. You don't like the I like that, bumpers? that look of that one over there, that 450. Just the OEM front bumper, Just it just looks so good. But yeah. like, I would like one of these. I would have one. So there's this uh, guy. Maybe y'all heard him, Mr. Freaking Elon. Built an underground Tesla tunnel and it like basically connects all the convention centers and supposedly it's gonna connect all the hotels and the airport and all kinds of stuff. And that is what is right here. People were waiting in line and I guess instead of walking, you gotta drive a Tesla underground. Charles did this yesterday, so he kind of told me about it. Yeah, I had it. a really good conversation with some people in there and uh, let's just say the conversation was less than savory. Oh, and we got Mr. Denofa. Yeah. I'm having a great time here at SEMA. What do you think? I think you're having a great time. I don't know. Well, I'm asking about you. You're, oh, am I having a great time? Yeah. I'm having a good time. I think the, the thing that I decided is I don't like drinking. Yep. Like, and I, we had a rough time last night. It wasn't even a rough time. It was like... Or this morning. We had a rough time this morning. What did I have? I had like a little little slushy thing, yeah. a little Long Island iced tea, and then a, mar a little margarita. That's all you so, had? 
There was four drinks. Not you even counted off three. So what, what was that the was fourth? Four. No, that was three. Because I had two. Oh. Two of the things. Okay. Another thing, and then you got me the other thing. Yeah. Maybe that was three. But it was like not enough to do any like good where you had a good time. It was just just enough to give you a headache. See, I haven't drank in like two years. Like actually drink. Like I'll have a beer every now and then, but like I haven't like drank to get drunk in. Yeah. I think you know. I think I had one good laugh. One good like deep belly laugh. It was, it was the salmon video. It was a salmon video, and then but I could have had that without. Without the without, without the liquor. Without it. It's yeah. just like poison. Like yeah. I feel like it's not, it's yeah. not good. Well, if you guys didn't know, also Trevor's kind of on a health kick right now. He's no, trying to I'm take not, care of himself. No, I'm not, not that health kick. I just don't. Uh, I'm, I'm off. I'm off the gluten. Off the gluten. That's well, legit. Hyperloop. And airplanes. Hyperloop was really busy, and we decided we didn't want to wait over mine. there yeah. for a little bit. So we'll do it later when it's not as busy. Uh, this is the new 9,000 pound Hummer electric vehicle. It has about a 50 mile range. You know uh, that someone in Colorado 10, has this, right? 10 mile range if you're towing. You know there's a YouTube channel in Colorado that has this? Yep. We need to, we need to we talk to them. see if we could drive it. Yeah. That's kind of weird. Look at the roof. Well, it's, it's, like, it's got like a little fabric roof. Really? It's probably an option or something. I mean, I would, I would want like a normal roof to go back on it. Sir? Yeah, see, here's the actual oh. stuff, I think. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe that is. Yeah. All right, let's check out this rig. Right here. Feather light trailers. Feather light trailer. You got an upstairs, that's beautiful. You go up here, park a couple cars. You got a lounge up there, right there. So if I ever become a uh, NASCAR driver, I'm gonna give me one of these here trailers. I like this. I'm almost this. too tall for this. this. Like, that's cool how it's all, so you can see what's in there. You know, have you ever right. been, like, you walk into somebody's trailer and you're like, they're like, oh yeah, it's over here in that thing, but like you could physically see everything. Right. You know what would be kind of cool though? Is if it had that like glass, that like- Fog does? No, the tint glass. Oh. That like, it's like a switch. Yeah, the, the fog glass, yeah. The, yeah. So you hit a switch and it fogs up and you can't see anything behind it. Or it does, there's this one tint that was out here, like turned black. Yeah. So it goes, yeah, but like imagine that and then it had like lights in each cubby. Yeah. Like to where you're like, you could like tint it to where it's black, it looks sick in here, or you like turn it on, turn the lights on. Right. It's nice. It's really cool. All right, like I said, I'm just about too tall for this. What's right here? That's a little storage cubby, yeah. So, my question is, how how much do you think this is? At least a hundred. At least a hundred. I think I think over five hundred. No. What do you guys think? Do you think we could beat this one at a two-step competition as well? I think we could. Maybe. We could. I think I I don't know. Do you think I'll ever own one of those units? What about a SVJ? Yeah, two, two of them. Two no, of them. Just, just one. Yeah. For a little while. Yep. That's that RB28? 28. Billet caps. The twin, I love the twins. The twins are sick. Yeah, the way that's set up. Money. That's Maybe. really cool. I mean, that's a sick exhaust manifold. Like, this is a sick setup. Yeah. This is really cool. It looks really complicated. But yes, I agree. Cool. I like, I wonder, it'd be cool if they sold that as like a kit. I wonder yeah. if they do. I don't, it, it probably, probably not, but that would be really cool. I would love to put this in the R33, but giving away the R32 GTR, five times entries are live right now. Be sure to click the link in the description to enter to win that unit. Take turbo manifold out here. I don't know which one that's for. What do you think that goes to? Maybe it's a Jay-Z? You would think that I would know. But you don't. But I don't. And look at this behind us. We have a, uh, look at that. It's got a chip in the paint. Uh-huh. I wonder what yeah, happened. Yeah, why don't you go to the windshield I wonder what happened. I really wonder what happened. I think he ran into, it's like a, a wastegate was just flying through the air like a bird. And he just, yeah. I think 
to say. So that has a lot of the Gretti parts on it. Yeah, that's a single turbo. That's one of the ones that we need. Single turbo, 33. I really like the body kit that's on it. Mm -hmm. The wheels, like this is, this is it, personally. Nismo Aero Kit, yeah. garage active, carbon hood. What we need to do is we just need to take a picture of this and copy it. Yep. We just copy it, then we'll have a cool GTR. That's the, that's the simple, uh, simple way to do it. That's the answer. That's the way. So normally I don't like saying things or talking about things that I don't know nothing about because I just, I wish I was like Charles. I wish I could just do that. <laughs> right. I wish. Right. I wish I could do that thing. Right. Uh, so this is a car that uh, another YouTuber has built, uh, Mike at Stan, Mike Stansworks Media. I think it's something like that. Yeah. Um, anyhow, I seen a couple videos of it like a year ago. Um, he also had this like coyote powered like Model A rat rod, which was super sick, had like these NASCAR. So I was watching that and then like- Oh, I remember that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and then this thing popped up on the side and then basically he was building a K-swapped Ferrari. This is really insane. The, look at the turbo setup on it, I really like it. I love how it just comes, you know, down and then the exhaust, you have like a wastegate out of one side and then the exhaust actually out of the other side. So you have like the dual exhaust right. thing. But everything's super cool on this, like the fabrication. Obviously, it's like wrapped, but it's uh, it looks cool. I like those oil filters. You can tell if you're having any sort of issues. Um, the I think window, I, yeah. Maybe I need one of those oil filters. I, li I like the windowed oil filters. I like, yeah, they're they're kind of cool. It, a windowed oil filter is better than a windowed block. Right. So we were walking through the show, and we seen Chris from Base for Build over here, and uh, he's got his crazy Mustang. Yes. It's not really a Mustang anymore. I mean, or hey, is it, it, or like what it, what I is think it, it is. It's registered as a Mustang. Yeah, I mean, it never really was much of a Mustang. Mid-engine uh, SLC chassis. So this started as like a movie car from the movie Need for Speed. Um, and then we started throwing Mustang body parts at it. Yeah. And then, yeah, we did the really drastic body change. Which... Yeah. So how did you design that? So the original concept of the design was actually made by this really talented artist. Uh, he's just one of those Instagram car renderer guys. His name's yeah. Piranha DV. And I had actually saved his post like three years ago thinking that's a really really cool car yeah. i'd love to build it one day we're midway through this build and i still had not remembered that oh there's like this really cool design out there floating around yeah. that i'd want i wanted to build and somebody tagged me in it and i obviously saw it on instagram i looked back and i was like oh yeah no shit, that thing exists yeah so i re uh, like reached out to the designer and i was like hey can i build this in real life like i'll give you all the credit you want and everything like that he's overjoyed he watches the show and he's like dude seriously like do it and i was like cool so we took his, his design elements were a lot of uh, the rear over fenders and the front fenders. And then, so what we did was we mixed that with our design elements that we wanted to do, which was, a, he designed a 1970 and we wanted a 67. So we had a little compromise where we did 1970 front end, like the headlight buckets, yeah. those are all from 1970, but we really wanted the 67 doors, 67 side scoops that we molded in, the GT500, the Shelby bits and stuff like that. I really wanted to see those because after my history and past with Mustangs. I really yeah. always wanted a Shelby GT500. So yeah. this is this is where we landed and I'm really, really happy about it. That's so long story short, yeah, the, des the designer and the design was already out and then we just started kind of modifying on that mm -hmm. platform. Yeah. So the are they fiberglass or? Yeah, yeah. What we did was we started with quarter inch metal rod mm -hmm. and we just kind of hand yeah, bend yeah. it around our leg and stuff like that and get the, get the form and the shape that we liked, tack welding it onto the body here and there and built like a scaffolding structure. Mm -hmm. Then we just ran painter's tape from edge to edge yeah. till it starts creating a nice flat surface. And then from there we threw on like way too much fiberglass. Like these things are like damn near bulletproof. Mm -hmm. So uh, it wasn't the most effi uh, efficient way to, yeah. uh, to do it. But yeah, if you knock on them, you could see how much like substance oh, wow. these really have. Like it's really, so we did like three layers of like the thickest strand mat that they mm -hmm. sell pretty much when it probably should have been maybe two layers or we should have done like three layers of weave. Yeah. Would have been so much easier to body work out. We spent. We spent most of the time just sanding on this car. That was what it took up all the time, really. And this was just kind of like, how did you get it to match side to side? Uh, like a tape measure? You yeah, just, just like... tape measure, just constantly. So, like, so when you're doing like, say the, the hoops for the over fenders in the mm. front, um, just make two, make two yeah. of everything. And then you just tape measure out. Okay, this, this thing starts at this point, tack weld it on right there, make yeah. sure it ends at the right point, And then, yeah, they come out uh, symmetrical. Yeah. Also, I, with a car this wide too, you can't ever see the, side, the other side really at the same time. So if it's a little off, if it's a little off, nobody will really know. Yeah, I was just curious. Like initially, now that you said like the wire thing, I remember you seen posted on Instagram that. But I was always curious, like the like the three D printed body kits with like the fiberglass mold, like that's something. Cause I know you do stuff with three D printing. I do do stuff with three D printing, and that's something I'd really love to break into. When you're talking about yeah. a panel that's this large, there are 
just a few companies in the world that can do it. And, yeah. and you know how we build stuff. We're on a tight time schedule. This is a, <laughs> it, we built this in two different stages. Yeah. First stage was about a 30 day build and the next one was 40. So this car from being nothing to here was 70 days. Yeah. Not a really, really long time. So, and the other problem with that is a lot of those panels will warp or crack or mm. whatever. So you've got to really go from that to then a big fiberglass plug yeah. and then you're doing your fiberglass body kit. So. This way was the quick and dirty one-off way, but if we were gonna yeah. make reproduction kits. It's like the, the way that like sucks, but you're like, okay, if we do, if we spend 30 hours on it, it'll get done. Yep. You know, Yep. so yep. pretty, uh, or 30 days or whatever, you know, it ain't gonna be fun, but yeah, you can yeah, do it. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, from the amount of body work you do. Yeah, you look at yeah. it and you go, this is gonna be hours. Yeah, when I seen hours. you guys, uh, like doing all the body work and you're posting about it. I was like, I was like, maybe I should like fly out there and like try to help him or something like that. It would have been, that would have should have cool. told that to Kyle. He did the opposite. He flew to Europe and went on vacation and <laughs> left us there standing. <laughs> yeah, we would have loved some help, man. We were, yeah. we were really like the blind leading the blind on that one. Um, Cause you know, we don't come from that world whatsoever. Yeah. We don't, none of us actually even come from the car world. I was a software engineer. Oscar was a welder. So yeah. um, we watch what we see on like channels like your channel and other channels and, and try and follow along the best we can. But yeah. um, well, there's ever anything you need like help with or in, like I'll reach out for sure. I'd love to do something like that. So. Hell yeah. But uh, well, yeah, this thing's sick. Thank you. Thanks Thank for you. showing it to us. Yep. So after hours over here at SEMA is definitely the time to check out vehicles. Like I didn't even see this thing today because it was so covered in people. Like this area is just so Dude, popular. This thing is so this nice. This thing is sick. Can you can you believe we literally just gave away this? Literally we, that. We just gave away this truck. I mean, it's lower and it's got I mean, you know, obviously, wheels but like, on it, but like everything else. Our truck else. had the potential to be like this. Obviously with probably about another thousand hours of work in it, it could have been this, but like, like it's crazy. That's sick. Look it's at this nice thing, truck. dude. Like, this is freaking awesome. Look at the paint. I wonder how many hours are in this. Cause I, I know really how many hours know. were in ours and ours turned out good. But this thing is like on another level, obviously like the polishing and you know, just the extra details, but this is freaking absolutely insane. Um, just crazy. Like the cars out here. So, right. And even looking at the interior of this, like, man, this is, yeah, this is, this wild. is something else. So now we have this full carbon fiber bodied Dodge Charger, which is freaking sick. It's got sick, has a Hellcat engine in it, which you can never really go wrong with that. This was like the original, like turbo, like muscle car, freaking right. Grand National. Like it's sick. It looks like it has a more modern power plant in it. I don't know what that is. I looks like an LSA. I wonder if that's the new like V6, like twin turbo thing that it goes might in be. like the CTS. Yeah, the ATS-V. ATS-V, I wonder if it's that. Because these came with a V6, V6 and turbo that back in the day. This thing, buddy. I mean, you can't go wrong with a classic Corvette. Oh my goodness, look at that engine bay. It's beautiful. Oh, and then the tag <laughs> on the side right here, did you see this? What does it say? Mint condition. Nice, <laughs> I like Well, and it's like a mint paint color. <laughs> right, I love that. And then finally. We got TJ's cars. They got them roped off because they didn't want me over here like inspecting them or talking about them. Yeah, I'm, honestly, I'm sure, I'm sure it, we could find something. It, again, this is one of those things where like TJ's, you know, the wide body company, uh, Street Hunter Design, you know, they do that same process with like 3D scanning the car and then printing a mold and doing, you know, basically making molds and then fiberglass parts and then they sell them and it's super sick to see that you could do all that stuff. And uh, it's cool that, you know, obviously the 400Z just came out. I know he's been working on it for a long time. Forsberg had it like six months ago, that kit. But I think they're pretty much getting ready to ship now. Uh, the BRZ kit, I guess, he just posted today on his Instagram that it's like ready to ship. Like these are like, these kits are like in stock, ready to ship, which is crazy. So uh, really badass cars. Yeah. Like looking at them like this, it just makes me want to build one and do like some nice engine. Not like a crazy engine, but like a 400 horsepower engine, you know? Yeah, like a little that, time attack ripper. Yeah, or like that GR, you know, the three oh. cylinder, you know, like that would be sick. I've I've heard talks of people that are making like a uh, conversion kit to put like the GR86 three cylinder turbo engine in this, which supposedly was supposed to go in here, but then they couldn't do that because of a thing with like Toyota or um, Subaru actually. So interesting stuff, but freaking cool. Really freaking cool. Also, I think we, we looked in TJ Hunt's nose earlier. We've seen some weird stuff in there, but I don't know. 
we won't talk about that. Uh, I think we're gonna head over to the Vibrant booth now and check out that stuff. It's got a little distracted on the way to the Vibrant booth. Uh, I seen this car yesterday. This is Throttle's rear wheel drive EK hatch, which is a really cool thing. I think K20, K24, I'm not 100% sure, but uh, it's definitely cool. You can see turbo, K series, rear wheel drive in a Civic. Uh, Jimmy Oaks built, you know, Nissan, which was basically Nissan powered Honda. Um, that was rear wheel drive. Rear wheel drive yeah. and stuff. And uh, this is basically kind of like, this is probably how I would have done it. Yeah. More so, it was like a K series rear wheel drive in a hatch like this, which is. Uh, which is really cool, but uh, I really like this thing. Well, I like the V-mount of this as well because mm -hmm. because the car has the engine so far back like near the firewall, you have a lot more room in the front to like have your intercooler and your radiator and a V-mount setup. And that's, I, I freaking love that because you yeah. never see that in like any sort of Honda or like. Yeah, well, I mean, you can't. I mean, I guess you could, but like the engine is typically like it's kinda, a, it's above the, fr it's the front axle, yeah. So. so it's it's a little little difficult to do that, but because it's so unique. That just adds to the wow factor of it. It's so sick. All right. Well, I think Vibrant is that way. That way. Let's uh, let's not get distracted this time. Well, uh, what's this? <laughs> <laughs> so something else that we haven't really talked about is the trucks here at the show, like the the off-roading trucks. And I think this one is probably my favorite. Why? What do you think? Did we just get distracted? We just got distracted again, but it's we okay. Just got distracted. I think like it's just insane that these things. You know, you could pretty much drive it like an RC car, right, where right. like you could just like bash like a freaking six thousand pound truck that makes a thousand horsepower, like it's an RC car, which is insane. Look at this, everything out here, like everything it, out here. Like is... now that like everybody is gone, like you could actually see stuff, which is freaking awesome. I'm so glad that we did the media this year. Yeah, I love this blue. That's it. That's uh... look at this blue. The, the camera will not do this justice, but God, I mean, look at that. Just look at the blue. I mean, even look at that, dude. There's just freaking so many cool things here. And the, we've, we've been walking for two minutes. Right. <laughs> and then you have Mr. Block himself. Does he own this thing anymore? I don't know. Because I think he has some stuff that he's doing with Audi, so like I don't think I don't think he could drive this technically. Really? I think because his daughter drives it and all that. That's right. Yeah. That. So because yeah. he has like a contract, I think. With Audi. Makes sense, right? Yeah. So I think uh, a couple years ago, Rob Dom was over here with like a pen and paper, and he was like taking a bunch of notes on this thing. Yeah. That's pretty much like that. That <laughs> is that's what he even says is like he literally like copied this essentially. That was like his dream was to do that with this which is sick and uh, I like it I like it that is all the time that we have here tonight so now now we are officially kicked out kicked out we, just, we literally we got, just got kicked we out got kicked out of the steam show all right let's go uh what way is it that way or is it I don't way? know where's are we going to West Hall West so that I think way it's that way I, think I that's thought it West. was that way Concourse. what if it, what if, I thought it was that way no nope. that way Charles this way he's just trying to figure out some directions Oh, I'm directionally also, challenged, so. I think there's only like, there's less than five R32 GTRs out here. This one is gray. A lot of them are gray. Mine is not gray, but yours could be white if you get entered for a chance to win our Nissan R32 GTR that we are giving away right now. Five times entries, we gotta go. We're gonna get kicked out. They're like freaking hunting us down. I feel like a deer in the woods. Yeah, deer they're in the coming woods. right after us, man. Like, they, like, you hear that noise over there? That's them. That, yeah. It's like hyenas. They're coming. To, <laughs> they're coming to get us. All right. How do we get out of here? Uh, this way. You sure? No, I'm not sure. 